Hey, welcome to Weekday Somatics. Uh, first of all, uh, I just want to make a brief announcement. I, I have begun a new series, a video, new video series. I have uh, uploaded the first video. I haven't published it yet, but it's uh, I will after after this session. And uh, that's a specifically focused on floor sitting. Uh, so for those who are a, a number of you have expressed that you are beginning to explore sitting on the floor and uh, you find that somewhat challenging. So uh, this new series is intended, it, it's, it's, comp, it, it's a supplement to the weekday somatics. Um, and the intention is that it can help us to discover greater ease in sitting and then we can uh, and then we can discover the, the benefits of, of greater ease in sitting, whatever those might be. We'll get to find out. Um, I think it's, I, I think it's worthwhile to find the ease in sitting, uh, but you, <laughs> you'll have to decide for yourself. So that, that, that's, that's all I need to say about that. Um, oh, no, I'll say one more thing about it. Don't think that you need to do it. But as I say, it's a supplement. Uh, it's not meant as a substitute for the weekday somatics inquiries. And it's uh, not, you, you don't need to feel that you must do it. But for those who are interested, I think you, I hope, I hope you will find it valuable. <laughs> so let's begin today by um, finding a posture that we well before okay so as a as a as a guide for finding a posture let's actually begin with If it's comfortable closing the eyes and I'd like to invite us all to see that all of the ideas that we have of, of ourselves are an unnecessary burden and that we can simply choose right now to set them down and to see ourselves in a, in a, a fresh way right now and I'd like to invite us all to see ourselves as we might see a newborn baby. And to offer ourselves the gifts of gentleness. So let us be as gentle with ourselves as we would be with a newborn baby. And let that be our guiding principle 
as we begin to find a posture that we can inhabit with this gentleness for the next 30 minutes. And I, I, I will suggest that that right there is a very powerful inquiry. Because what we can, what it offers us is this opportunity to see presently all of the conditioning, the habits in which we view ourselves, conceive of ourselves, in any way that is not gentle. in any way that is unlike how we would view a newborn baby. And if we're willing, and I hope we all are, if we're willing to be present and patient with this inquiry, then we can we can really observe all of the condition as it arises and see that it is not true. All of the ideas, all of the thoughts that we have mistakenly accepted as truth have no substance to them. If you really allow yourself to find a posture that you can inhabit in this way, then you can give yourself this awesome opportunity to see the false as false. To see how much pain you have created for yourself, but not a single bit of it was true. It was all mistaken. All of the I should I should try harder. I should be more successful.
And perhaps this, this inquiry opens up a new dimension for our somatic inquiry. Perhaps we can start to see the contrast between the violent tendencies that we have unconsciously energized that well, all the while calling it something good, calling it good effort, right effort. Perhaps we can see how all of that effort and strain was directed at trying to mimic an idea or an image that we held to be the truth. In our lives, people told us things. They said, do the right thing, be good, sit up straight. All of these things and we tried and tried and tried and tried to be good and to sit up straight to look intelligent, to look capable, but it was all a pretense, wasn't it? Because inwardly we knew that all we could find was strain. We didn't find the support or the stability. All we found was our own self-effort directed at trying to hold it together, to prevent others from seeing our our profound innocence. But if we are really receiving the invitation presently, then we are recognizing those tendencies, those habits that we've in indulged unconsciously, that we've overlooked and justified as being necessary, essential for our existence, essential for me to survive, for me to even know that I am. All of those habits, those violent tendencies, the way in which we metaphorically beat ourselves and to hear presently the invitation is to to stop, to stop gently and to ease into gentleness without collapsing into unconsciousness.
So the same general guidelines as usual apply. We don't want to collapse. We don't want to seek after comfort. We don't want to be distracted by our habitual pursuit of distractions or thoughts. We want to be present, but we also want to see how our idea of ourselves has still been operating in the background and we were overlooking it because we are so in the habit of being violent. So can we start to recognize how it is that we have habitually held ourselves in this tight grip And the invitation now is to soften that tight grip because we want to see ourselves as we would see a newborn baby. So let us hold ourselves very, very lightly, very gently, very softly. Wherever there is gripping, soften. and find the support that's here. The support is here. Uh, I, I can promise you that. The support is here. The conditioned mind wants to know where. How can I trust it wants to know? Give me proof first. That's only necessary if we're still behaving in our habitual, violent, sudden ways. But if we gently soften the gripping, then we gently transfer from our false self-efforting, smoothly transitioning to a surrender into the embrace of the support that is here. We're not flinging ourselves into anything. We're not suddenly dropping, we're not doing anything violent or sudden, it's a very gentle, conscious surrender. Surrender is unconditional. It's not show me first or give me first, and then I'll surrender, it is unconditional surrender. I don't know what this embrace is. I must surrender to receive it. I receive it to the degree that I am willing to surrender. And I'm suggesting let us surrender very gently, very softly so that we are easing into that embrace, familiarizing ourselves with the support. The support is immense. The support is all that is. 
and we can have a real experience of that presently. Notice where the gripping is. Notice where the numbness is. Notice where the strain is. The clenching. The grasping, the darting from thought to thought, from image to image. And notice that You are aware of all of that. Notice that all of that is happening in this awareness. The thoughts may present a very challenging, difficult or impossible scenario, a problem that must be solved first. But notice that the thoughts are happening in you. You are aware of the thoughts. Observe the nature of the thoughts. Really watch. See that they are coming and going in you, in your awareness. This is your direct experience. They don't touch you. They can't harm you. When the thoughts come, you are. When the thoughts go, you are. See that this is true. See that this is true presently in your direct experience. Whatever thoughts come, including the thought that that's not true. See that all those thoughts come and go in your awareness. See that you remain regardless of the thoughts. Whatever thoughts may come, you remain untouched. See that the sensations come and go in you. You are aware of the sensations. See that the body sense comes and goes in you. See that the memories come and go in you. Look presently directly, it's obvious, you can see it. It doesn't take great intelligence or training. Every one of us can see it. We just have to remain true to our innocence. Hold yourself so lightly, so gently, Allow yourself to soften the grip. 
And as you do, you are surrendering to the support that already has you. And start to tell the truth, which is that all of the gripping, all of the habits of suddenness, of efforting, of trying, of thinking, of all of that, it never It never worked. It never provided you with the security that you thought you needed. You were only pulling yourself up by your own bootstraps, which is to say you weren't pulling yourself up at all. It's only the support that has you always. Notice if there's any gripping or strain or pain, numbness that you're trying to endure and tell the truth. See what it is that you think you will get by enduring. Where are you getting to? What will you receive as your reward for enduring? What will the benefit be? See the complete emptiness of that. See how absolutely unfulfilling that is. See that you've never arrived where the habits have promised that they would deliver you. And see that you cannot arrive there because th that is not a place that you can go. It exists in you. The thoughts, the habits, they promise to deliver you to a future. That future does not exist independent of you. You do not exist within a construct that can deliver you to that future. The future is in you. See that the motivation, look carefully and observe that the motivation for all of the habits is fear. Fear that I will be destroyed, that I will fail, that I will be found out. So find yourself out now. Completely out yourself now. but not in, the, not in the old habitual way, the violent way, the ha-ha, told you so kind of way, but in this gentle way. Because what you're, what you're outing is your innocence. So be very gentle. I said that the support is immense. I really want to encourage us all to receive the fullness of that because we can start to look and see that all that is, is support. That's all that there is.
everything that seems to happen is pointing us here, delivering us here, shining a light on this perfect innocence that is so flawless we can allow that to dissolve the hardness that we've constructed around our hearts. And this is a real experience, it's possible right now. This is not just something in your mind. The mind is in you. Whatever fantasies may come and go, they come and go in you. The experience that I'm talking about is the experience of yourself. This experience of yourself does not come and go. The clear seeing of your flawless, perfect nature does not come and go. Now this flawless nature is take a look and see right now presently you can see that this flawless nature has no beginning, beginning and no end. It's has no form. And I want you to very carefully observe this flawless, perfect nature, this gentleness that is formless and that in fact has never been involved. And notice that as you begin to become aware of your body, notice that that awareness of your body is not separate from this flawless nature, this formless nature. The, the 
awareness of the body does not overshadow your perfect nature. It does not touch your flawless nature. It does not pose any problems to your flawless nature. So remain observant and aware of this formlessness that you are as you become aware of your sense of the outer layer of the body, the skin. And as you become aware of the natural breath, notice that that natural breath is flowing without any disturbance whatsoever to your formless nature. can even become aware of thoughts. We can even allow thoughts and recognize that these thoughts do not disturb our formless nature. If your eyes have been closed, you can begin to slowly open the eyes. And as you do so, what I'd like to encourage you to explore is how the seeing does not disturb your formless nature. The habits may surface, the habits of identification, the habits of stories about what the visual field means, what the sensations mean. You can notice that none of that disturbs your formless nature. I strongly encourage everybody 
to continue to be very gentle. If I won't even qualify that with an if, this was a very deep inquiry. So be extra observant of the habits of suddenness. If you indulge the habits of suddenness, the benefits will not transfer as well to the waking state. You could also find yourself getting irritable. So if you're very gentle and observant, consciously making this transition so that you can be fully engaged in the waking state while maintaining awareness of this stillness then the benefits will be great they will transfer very well some of you may uh, feel tired that's a possibility if you feel very tired and uh, you need to lie down and rest, please give yourself that. For those of you who are here live, we'll stay on for the Q&A. And I'm going to end the recording of the formal inquiry now. So for those who are watching the recording, thanks for being here. And please remember my suggestions to be very gentle. Give yourself rest. Just rest from all of the unnecessary habits that you are now aware of. You just don't need to do them. So much of your day has been occupied with unnecessary effort, strain. So much occupation with thought, imagination, fear, and what this inquiry has offered you is the opportunity to recognize that. And now it's up to you to choose to be true to that. You really don't need to do any of those things any longer. <clears throat> well, just remain aware and remain aware of that choice. And you will it will become more familiar and easier. <clears throat> okay.